In this episode, we will talk about designing the customer satisfaction chart that is visible in this customer success dashboard. And customer satisfaction chart is the product wise chart for all the uh, products uh, that uh, either the customer satisfaction is low, very low, low, or okay, high, or very high. And it's based on the raw data, and this chart is based build on the raw data and uh, it's a lines 100% uh, stake chart um, like a uh, bar stake chart uh, it's 100% bar stake chart and uh, this chart uh, will represent uh, the customer satisfaction of each of the product uh, based on the customer satisfaction survey uh, like they have conducted that is present in the raw data now this customer satisfaction chart that we are going to create in this episode will be interactive uh, it's really beautiful looking elegant and really visually appealing and it's also interactive with the ear wise like ear wise what is the customer satisfaction of each of the product uh, you can also check the customer satisfaction of an individual product uh, in each of the product uh, like in all the years you can also segregate it the ear wise uh the segregation of the front four in the year 2005 what, what is the customer satisfaction how much low if you uh, hold the cursor over here and the same is uh you can segregate is using the customer acquisition type uh you can also find the uh state wise so it's this chart will be highly interactive chart and uh, we are going to create uh, this customer satisfaction chart uh, that is here mm -hmm. The customer satisfaction chart that we had already created and this is the customer satisfaction chart and how we can create this chart with the multiple level my uh, uh with the multiple level private table uh so how we are going to create it let's uh, so watch this video till the end to learn to design such type of chart uh such type of interactive chart Assalamu alaikum, my name is Ishtia Khan and welcome to Grow with Ishtia Khan YouTube channel. In this channel, we will talk about opportunities and growth and how you can put your creativity on the table. If you are a student, fresh graduate, young professional in the early level of your career or a mid-level professional, then this channel is just for you. So in this channel, you will learn about putting your creative nature, putting your creativity uh, uh, out on the table and uh, showing your creativity and how you can show your creative side uh, to your boss, to your customer, to, the, to, to your client. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and also press the bell icon to get notified of all the videos that I'm posting on this platform because this platform is just for you. So it's discussed that in this uh, episode, we are going to create this uh, interactive, highly interactive, highly, uh, a very beautiful and elegant uh, customer satisfaction chart product wise, uh, the customer satisfaction survey conducted uh, based on the raw data. This is the raw data and we are going to create it. Uh, in our uh, for our dashboard so this is the raw data and this is the customer satisfaction and how uh, we have uh, very few of op five options available that either customer satisfaction is very low uh, it's low it's okay it's high or it's very high and this customer customer satisfaction chart will help you to analyze that what is your customer experience what is your customer happiness index and we are you are going and also uh, this chart will help you in the customer success dashboard like uh, view it here uh, if we uh, if we check it here then you can view it that uh, what is the customer satisfaction of the product one in all in the year 2015 like i want to segregate it more in the state of alabama what is the customer satisfaction of this product and in the state of Alabama and the and how much is the revenue and now you can dig deeper into it and learn about it why customer satisfaction is low in this area why uh, um, few of the products have high customer satisfaction uh, this part one has high customer satisfaction and uh, why so you can dig deep into it and you can learn about uh, 
different techniques and uh, like you uh, you can learn about the uh, other products you can learn about all the products that it was 2017 which product has performed well that is the highest customer satisfaction like product five it is a very high product customer satisfaction very low and um, high so you can learn about it and you can then dig deeper into um, some more statistics and you can then find, uh, devise the strategy that why it is happening uh, you can find and analyze and find what why it is happening and you can devise a strategy to cope with it to cover it uh, like uh, either there is a product that is not giving much satisfaction to this customer either there is a uh, customer acquisition type either there is a uh, um, some other issue that is occurring there is a return type there are delivery issue what's the main issue that customers are not satisfied so you can dig deeper into it using this customer success dashboard so uh, we are going to design uh, this uh, customer satisfaction chart uh, this is the 100% staked 100% uh, bar staked bar chart and we need to design it uh, and first of all, we will create the uh, sheet and new sheet and we'll uh, give it the name customer satisfaction because it will contain customer satisfaction chart. We'll insert the pivot table and we have already the date, the data table available with us and sales data. This is the fields that are available in it. Uh, now we have we need the column of customer satisfaction and we need uh, you need to count the customer satisfaction not the count of return but we can change the name and count of customers or count of survey what you anything you can write here here now you need to create the now at the same time this is the customer but uh, it's the, the same time we had customer satisfaction we had count of customers very low this amount low okay and different but still it's not giving up that which product we have not segregated in the product wise we also need to segregate it's a product wise that this product one has so many so many customers with low customer satisfaction with low satisfaction with very low satisfaction with somewhat okay and with very high with uh, high satisfaction so you can uh, segregate uh, some like inject or um, insert a, a, another, a, another level into the pivot table and then you can learn about it that how it can uh, give you uh, the uh, product wise uh, customer satisfaction and let's see the columns and you can that's a multi-level pivot table helps you that in product one there are total number of products 1161 and its customer satisfaction is very low or this and low and uh, okay is this and high and you can find that which part is performing uh, in the high range in the okay and which have the, the most of the low customer satisfaction so you can uh, like f survey about it and you can uh, easily find it that what's happening to which product and in which state you can deeply dig deep deeper into it now this is the multi level pivot table and like we're going to uh, and uh, this pivot table we, we need to pivot, create a pivot chart now this time uh, creating this type of uh, clustered uh, uh, column chart uh, it, do, it doesn't give actually much visual appearance but we need the uh, bar chart and we need the 100% um, uh, staked bar chart and this looks much more elegant, much more uh, creative way to uh, show it. And now we do not need this type of button because we need uh, the chart to have more space available with it. And this is the, and also uh, we need to work with the design. And now we can learn about it that uh, now we can change the colors and much have more space for it and I need this one to be format legend and with the format legend it should be on the top either it should be on the bottom uh, I know uh, it depends on me that but it, I think it should be on the top and 
you can also change the colors the colors you want you can work with the colors format data series and then you can uh, format these colors and like I need this to be dark green I need this to be uh, red uh, and this this should be like I, I think this this should be uh, dark red and this like, like it's very low representing oh it's in red condition uh, this should be uh, somewhat light low or uh, pinkish type of mm, like it's and this should be okay normal and this should be uh, somewhat light green and this should be dark green so this is the contrast moving from the dark red uh, to very low satisfaction to the dark green the higher satisfaction so you can play with these colors play with these um, gradients and play with these formatting and the way you want and this is all about the customer satisfaction chart now in order to design it the way and paste it the way here it is uh, so you can also in uh, insert some gradients into it and the way you want and so uh, to insert it we will uh, do it in uh, our video in our episode when we are finalizing this design uh, so that's all about the customer satisfaction chart that has been created uh, using the uh, bar chart it is by the hundred uh, percent staked bar chart and you can change the chart type also it's the hundred percent staked bar you can change the chart designs uh, the way you want you can play with it but I like this one for this type of uh, customer satisfaction and it shows that uh, it's going from low and also you can like the first part should be uh, like the product one should be at the top and product five to be gone at the bottom the way you want you want to design it uh, and with a very low and low and normal and oh high and very high so it depends upon you the way you want to design it so that's all about the customer satisfaction chart uh, we have uh, you can check our previous episode that how we designed the different type of other charts uh, using the raw data and and one thing more this these charts are interactive charts like if the main data uh, the, the raw data changes there are some changes, then it will impact these charts so this really interactive chart designs uh, it will really help you to create a really creative uh, impact on your boss or your customer your client in, in any area you want you are working so uh, you can uh, really it, it, it will really help you uh, in any area you are working to create such, like, such elegant such visually appealing such beautiful uh, interactive designs interactive customer success uh, um, uh, cust dashboards in Microsoft Excel so uh, share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also take benefit of this video because sharing is caring uh, and thank you for watching If you want to move your career to the next level, then subscribe to my YouTube channel, Grow with Ishtia Khan. Here you can find videos related to career and personal development, learning new skills, and how you can transform yourself to grow and attract next big opportunity that is waiting for you. Also, press the bell icon to get notified of the new videos shared on this platform and share the video with your friends and colleagues because sharing is caring. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.